Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna take a little look at the brand new Cutting Edge Warbond. Just dropped literally a couple minutes ago. Just gonna take a little look at it. Give you guys a first look at some of the stuff. Got the laser 16 sickle energy based. See the stats. I'm gonna spend too much time on any one item, but I will take a look at all of the different armor and weapons. New helmet. New armor, electric resistance, could be good for the new weapons. Apparently there's arc weapons now. And also, I'm a fan of the arc thrower. But uh, you can kill your teammates very easily. Head tap emote. We've got a new booster. Increase the time between enemy encounters. That's kind of cool, but I wonder how it's going to work. Because, um, especially against terminants, like they can just they just force a bug hole like they just have to call and a bug hole comes out new cape and then the automatons they just shoot up a flare and call in a drop ship on credits the player card h2 shotgun show pose we have a stun grenade this is interesting i wonder how it's going to work out how long will they stay stunned? How effective is it going to be? Another suit of armor. This one again with the same electrical conduit. Almost fucked that word up. Can't speak. Under credits. The Punisher the plasma version they were talking about. That says it does explosive damage. Want to see how this pans out. Compared to the regular Punisher, which I actually really enjoy the regular Punisher after the buff. Not as good as the Slugger, but I haven't earned the Slugger yet. New helmet to match the new armor. Another new cape. And on page 3 we have... Oh yeah, the Arc Shotgun they were talking about. I remember seeing that. Unlimited capacity is interesting. I guess it'll be sort of like the Arc Thrower, maybe. Unlimited ammo. That damage at first glance seems pretty good. Super slow fire rate, though. So, we're going to see how that works out. And a little one-handed beam pistol. Kind of like the scythe weapon. It's like a mini laser cannon, I guess, essentially. And you can use that in one hand. Another 100 credits. And you got... Agent of Oblivion player card got presentable victory pose and another armor this looks like the light version I can tell because of the armor rating I want to go with it and another cape and uh, I've noticed that this uh, new war bond is also premium I didn't mention that at the beginning, because I didn't actually know right away. I wasn't paying attention. So if you want this, you will either need to drop $10 or have earned 1,000 credits. I believe it costs 1,000. That's what the other one costs, the other premium one. So if you want it, get that money. And as far as the armors go, I believe this should be the medium and this should be the heavy. Uh, 200... 500, 100. Unless they're both the same, I'm not sure. Because they have the exact same values. Same run speed and everything. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's on purpose. But this one is faster than the others. This is definitely light. So I don't know if these are both mediums or... They're both heavies or what the hell. But there's a quick look at the new Warbond if you guys are interested. 